where they're still not budging on a budget. Members of the state budget conference met for hours today and then broke off talks until tomorrow. But as Victor Puente tells us, tensions between Republicans and Democrats are escalating as both sides accuse each other of not compromising. The budget battle centers around cuts to education and spending for the state's retirement fund. Depending on how the next few days go, will also determine how long this session lasts. The Senate and House have each passed their own version of a two-year budget for the state of Kentucky. The Republican-led Senate wants to keep Governor Matt Bevin's proposed budget cuts, which include cuts to higher education. That money would be used to help fund the state's pension systems. The democratically controlled House has said they would support funding the pensions, but will not allow the proposed cuts for education. Governor Bevin maintains the cuts are necessary because the state has billions in pension debt. Monday night, he released a video calling on the legislature to pass a budget, a move House Speaker Greg Stumbo criticized. You know, if he quit doing silly videos and pick up the telephone and call and try to work something out, it might be more productive. Bevin held a news conference Tuesday afternoon with some criticism of his own. Getting reelected should not be the number one driver behind decisions that are made in this town. They shouldn't be. We were sent here to do the will of the people. We were sent here in this session specifically to pass a budget. The budget committee will reconvene Wednesday morning. If an agreement is reached by the end of the week, the last day for the session will be April 15th. If not, it'll be April 12th. Both chambers say that would allow them to override a veto if necessary. In Frankfurt, Victor Puente, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. If a budget isn't passed during the session, Governor Bevin will have to call a special session to pass one before July 1st.